Good morning everyone, welcome to a new episode in the streets of Miami. It's warm, it's tropical, we left Chicago to come here on holiday and I'm gonna be sharing with you eight minutes of street photography tips. Why? Simply because there is a few things you wanna be super careful of when you're taking photos. They are going to make or break your photos. I think you'll enjoy it and also I wanted to take some time off but honestly I could not not shoot, <laughs> this is so picturesque here. So if you're ready to hit those streets and get some sun in, let's get started. All right, it's good to be in the warmth after winter in Chicago, guys. And all right, the first thing I want to tell you here in Miami, in those conditions when we have like blue skies, you want to make sure you're putting on a polarizing filter as much as possible, especially if you've got some nice blues. And the second thing I'm going to pay attention, for example, I really like that place. It looks very picturesque. And as you can see, we've got the two trees on each side of that image. And what I can do, if you can see is I can actually go up a little bit on that wall to try to actually not shoot um, with my camera pointing towards the, the, the sky. Why? Because it's going to deform a little bit my vertical. So I'm going to keep it like super straight right there. Here we go. Boom. That's my first shot. So now I'm going to take a little tighter shot and just to give myself some, some option. Here we go. I'm going to try one more with someone passing. One, two, three. Now you can see we have completely different feeling if we shoot from the top or here with a 24 millimeter because I'm on the 16.35 to eight right now. So we're gonna go one more. We're gonna go like super close up. Here we go. And that looks good. So some of those like tips I'm sharing with you is actually because I see a lot of my students in 30 days to great photo actually do those mistakes still. So I'm trying to have you avoid all of that and really focus on, uh, on getting better shots. So let's see, this is another good example of like kind of arch architectural shot where if you get it like that, just like that, you want to make sure that on both sides of, of the building right there, you actually perfectly align that you have even space on both sides. And this is a very common mistake that I see happen. And it takes half a second extra to get it right. And it makes a whole difference in your shot. So don't mess it up. I'm gonna go in burst mode because I kind of missed the guy. I wanted it to be also, if you can, when you have symmetry, center your subjects. It just makes it a lot easier to read your image, right? So let's try maybe this guy on the roller up. Wow, this is really fast. By the way, you can do all those with your phones. Don't need uh, an A1 or any specific cameras. I'm gonna take a few more of those like cool buildings because I'm, I'm pretty excited by those. It looks so cool. It's like a uh, Art Deco look and pastel colors. It just looks absolutely great and photogenic. So that would be another tip. Always look for anything you can use reflection on. It's gonna change completely well, the way you look at, at things, right? We have a fire hydrant right there and apparently they watered the street this morning. So we've got a little bit of water here to play with the reflection and that's something I love to do. Oh, that works. Let's wait for a subject to pop in there. Look at that. Yeah, that works. I like that. Perfect. If you guys don't know Miami, every time I look for photos of Miami, this place is always taken in photos, especially at night because the buildings are different colors. So if you can like make things change a little bit, you should go for it. All right, another good example where you wanna get your lines really straight. And if I shoot like that, the building is obviously very slanted as you can see. So I'm gonna try to be as vertical as possible with my camera. So you might have to raise it up in order to get the building in. And that's why you have specific uh, cameras or lenses, sorry, that can do architecture really well. They actually uh, compensate the distortion. This is very picturesque, by the way. Ooh, bird. All right, now what am I looking for? I'm looking for the palm tree, the sign, and a little bit of what's in the distance. If you want to give a vibe of a place, it's usually great to have a person in the shot, like that guy that was roller skating. I don't have much time because I have to go to the airport, so I'll just take the shot with no one right now, and we can 
uh, think about it for another time if I come back to Miami. But really try to integrate like elements from the place, people to showcase how it is, how it feels. Oh, this is great too. Look at that. Palm tree, orange pastel. This is, I love that. I'm gonna do a few shots here. I'm gonna go like ultra wide and then I can correct kind of the distortion later. Oops, someone. Okay, that, that's okay. She doesn't, it's okay. One like that, boom, and one, two, three. All right. Super important note before the last tips, make sure you get on the waiting list for the next session of the 30 Day Adventure to Create program. It's going to be starting soon. I don't want you to miss out if you are trying to take your photography to the next level. If you want to take photos that you're proud of, join a community of over 1,500 students that went before you, that progress. Some of them even become pro. I'm telling you, this is a real in-depth step-by-step process to get you and your photography to the next level. So join the list, link in the description or go to pietilamper.com forward slash course and I'll see you in that one. Woo, all right, new idea. Did you see that tree that's poking out of that little alley? I saw it the other day and took a photo with my phone so I could come back to it. So that's another huge tip. If you see something cool, take a photo, uh, remember the location, come back later if you want with the right light or something or with your camera. If you want to get another angle, I was way too far to shoot it with my phone and even zoomed in, it didn't work out. I think I'm gonna just gonna wait a little bit here and we're gonna wait for someone interesting to pass by. So it could be that group. Hello! Yeah! <laughs> All right, so those people are super nice. I need to move to Miami, like people are friendly here. I mean, they're friendly in Chicago, but the weather is not the same. <laughs> so we need, oh, one person, boom. That's perfect. The most important is really to wait for the right moment to get your shot. It doesn't matter if you're at the right place. If you're at the wrong time, your shot is not going to work out. All right, let's continue. Let's go on the other side. I'll show you how cool it can look from a few alleys now. So I actually thought that palm tree was like inside the small alley, but it's, it's totally in the middle of the road. But with the compression from far down, down you'll see it's gonna look like it's in the alley. All right, so for that shot, we wanna be at 85 millimeters. So I just popped it on. I didn't take my 7200, which have been dope, but I'm on holidays with my wife, so I didn't wanna carry too much gear. And we're gonna use that polarizing filter. I'm just gonna hold it because it's a 82 millimeter filter, and I'm just gonna turn it until I get what I want. Here we go. So this is kind of what it's gonna look like. I feel like we can get even closer, maybe a little far. This would actually be a dough compression shot, like 200 or 400 millimeter, like really compressed. You see if we zoom in the shot right there, we get this palm tree right there. And we could have someone standing just under the palm tree for some really cool portrait. So let's try again while getting closer to it. Here we go, boom. And then slap on those presets, make those photos pop, boom. I don't know why, I love that frame, it's so picturesque. <laughs> Como estas? Bien. Sí, buenas. ¿Puedo tomar una foto de aquí? ¿De tú? Bien. ¿Sí? No. ¿Sí? Oh, ¿Puedo uh, tomar ah, una foto de tú? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Y uh, aquí? ¿Acá? Aquí, acá. ¿Yo ahí? Sí, sí. Ah, ¿Sí? Sí, sí, sí. sí. Eh, mira, mira a mí. Uh, sin. Muy... Bueno, boom, oh, muy bien, muy bien, ok. Ok. Bueno, ¿no? Sí. Sí. Qué bueno. <laughs> Gracias. Another tip is obviously just talk to the people and get some cool shots. Oh, still love that tree, but I didn't get exactly the shot I had in mind here. We can do it one more time closer and I'm gonna rush to the airport. <laughs> oh, shoot, you gotta be kidding me. Just when we got the taxi, there was another car that photobombed it. Wow, it feels so nice to be in the warm, guys. I hope you have enjoyed those tips. I need to rush to the airport, so remember, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. Get your name on the wait list for the next training session. And with that being said, have a beautiful day. Bye.